Well, hey, YouTube, welcome back, my friends, once again to Photoshop Elements TV. You know, thank you to all the new subscribers out there. I'm glad to have you on board. Today, we're going to be talking about Photoshop Elements 2024 and creating the perfect landscape. Let's face it, on vacation, I know I take a lot of landscape photos, and maybe you do also. Let's go ahead and have a look here. We are in the organizer. I'm going to get back here real quick. Uh, let's see here to my editor. And in the editor, if you go to the guided edit tab on the very top here, guided edit, and look through some of these, okay? This is called the perfect landscape. And folks, I've been playing with this all morning and I am really impressed on what it can do for my landscape photography. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to open up this particular photo here. This photo was taken in the state of Maine. Uh, myself and my wife was there on vacation a few years ago and we were actually on a motorcycle trip. So we're going to take this photo and we're going to do some basic uh, editing to it here. And basic is kind of a, a, a bad term because it is going to be a huge difference. And I loved it so much. I'm actually sending it out to get a large print picture of this. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, we're on the guided edit. And the first thing we're going to do is come over here to our menu system okay this is all of the edits that we're going to do on this photo so first thing you're going to do is click to crop or straighten okay so i'm looking at this photo and you may not see it but i see a little bit of it not being perfectly straight okay what i'm going to do here first is reset this to make sure that it is reset okay we're going to go over here to the straighten tool if you look on the right where my mouse is there's a thing that looks like a little level okay click on that first click on color depth i happen to shoot mine uh, in 16 but it wants to convert it down to eight okay so we're just going to say go ahead and convert to depth all right what we're going to do now is we're going to straighten this photo a little bit so all i'm going to do is i'm going to go very lightly i'm going to go from the top over here i'm going to go down across the top of these trees to the other side here okay i'm just moving my mouse to the right and we're going to leave it go okay well, what I thought was really cool about it, it even self-crops. If you noticed, it came up with some uh, extra pixels on the outside because it straightened it, and it cropped it on its own. So we really don't have to do any cropping on this photograph. I mean, if you want to, you can do so. But we're going to go ahead and we'll do a little bit of cropping. So you don't really have to. It self-cropped it. So we're going to pull this around this boat here on the bottom. And I'm just looking here. I'm just pulling the little handles on the left and right. We're going to pull this one so we get that boat in here. And we'll click the little check marks on the bottom to confirm it. Okay, there we go. So now we cropped it. We have a perfectly straight photo. Folks, that right there already blew me away. The second thing we're going to do, you know I took this photo in the evening. You can tell it's darker. Uh, the sun's already down. But the sky is awfully gray. It really does not look pleasing. So the first thing we're going to do is remove any haze on the photo. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's allow, there you go. It's going to remove the haze. We also noticed, okay, we removed the haze, but it darkened that sky down even more. But don't fear. Photoshop Elements 2024 now is a very easy way to replace skies. This actually came about in Photoshop, the full version of Photoshop. Now they're giving it to us in Photoshop Elements. And right now, until I believe it's November, is it the 28th, I think it is? Uh, they're having a special right now. You can buy Photoshop Elements 2024 for $59.95. Folks, buy it. Uh, what you're getting, the new features in this that I've seen already, uh, I'm absolutely, uh, you know, paying for it. And I really do believe in it. So, okay. We've got a bunch of new skies here. Blue, but these are real bright over here on the right. Okay, if you see my mouse. These are really bright skies. We're going to go down here. And I was playing around a little bit earlier. And I was like, okay. Well, if they got daylight, they have to have night skies. Here's some beautiful night skies. Okay. I'm going to choose sunset number 10 and have a look and see how it changes my photograph. But don't worry about it. These are non-destructive uh, type of edits. What I mean by that is it's very easy to go back over this thing and change it. So we're going to change it to uh, number 10 here, sunset, and have a look and see what we get. Okay. All right. And there is number 10. You look, you go, well, is that pleasing enough? I do like it. I think it's a very interesting sky. But let's say we wanted to try something else. Let's say we wanted to try a sunset number 7. Okay, if I click on it, you can see it reverted it back on its own. I didn't have to do anything. 
and it knows I want to do a new uh, application of the sun. Okay, that sunset is not working at all for this photograph. I'm going to go back to number 10. I really like it. This is one I actually chose early to be very transparent with you when I created this edit. And uh, there you go. So that looks really pleasing to me. A lot better than that gray sky that was there. What we can do now is we can lower the opacity of the sky. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to leave it 100%. But I am going to raise the brightness just a little bit here. And I found that like 5 or 10 would work very well, okay? You don't want to get it too bright because we got to remember I did shoot this at night. So I'm going to set that to number 5, all right? Okay, you can use the move tool to reposition the sky. The sky is fine. I'm not going to reposition it. I think it's perfectly fine. I don't need to move my sky at all, okay? Use the edge brush to refine the edge uh, to precisely work on the sky edges. Now we can do that. We can uh, refine the edges if we want to work with the sky. And mainly they're talking around like the top of the trees and the building. But everything seemed to blend really well. I don't need to do a whole lot of that. Do minor fixes using the spot healing brush. You can use the spot healing brush to remove any uh, distractions on the photo. But again, I absolutely love this photo. I really didn't love it when I shot it, but I really, truly love it now. I think it's an awesome photo, and it's something I'm going to have printed off and hung on my wall uh, that I can look at all the time. Once you're done with this edit, again, this is the perfect landscape. Okay, it's under Guided Edit. It's a really easy tool to use, and we're going to click on Next. So we'll click on Next, and now we can do is you can save. If you save, that's the way I feel that you're going to destruct the actual photograph. I always do is Save As. Okay. Now we're going to save this. If we save it as a Photoshop file, all that's going to do is keep all of our um, edits in there and we can see those. But we want to send these out to get them printed. So I want to click on this. And you can do this one of two ways. Some people will tell you, hey, use TIFF. TIFF is a very large format, but it does retain a lot of color. I have found over the years that JPEG is perfectly fine. JPEG is a compressed file format, so it makes a smaller file that you have to deal with. All right. So we are going to say uh, main uh, harbor night, okay? Main harbor uh, night sky. How about that? Okay. I'm going to keep it in the same folder where I pulled it from. Include it in elements organizer. So, folks, it's going to put it in there. So that way we have it in our organizer. We can enjoy it all the time. It's really nice. Save it in a version set with the original. What that does is stacks them, saves it with a set. And uh, embed the color profile, and that is your color profile. That should be perfectly fine. Click on Save. Okay. Now, if you're going to send this out like me, I'm going to send this out for a very large print for my wall. So I'm going to save it with the biggest file format I can, 13.4 megabytes. Okay. Very big file format. If you're going to share this on the web, you can shrink it down. You can take this down to uh, probably 5. That's going to give you 1.6 meg. And it's going to look absolutely beautiful on any website you put it on. We could drop it down to 3. That gives you 1.1 megabyte. You get the idea. Let's leave it on large. That's what I like to do to print. Okay. Matte. We can do a matte finish. We can do a foreground, background, white, 50% gray, whatever we want to do there. I leave that set to none. And we're going to click on OK. All right. So there you go. We got it uh, done. It's all finished up. I'm going to click on done down here. Now, if you go back to your organizer, here's my organizer. You can see now where I have a version set right here. Okay, I have a version set. You can actually right click on those. You can close the set. You can do everything you want with it there. As you see, I did two of the edits, the one I did on my own, the one I did for you folks. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video tutorial. Again, you're going to want to buy Photoshop Elements 2024. I know some of you have been commenting on the channel. you got Photoshop Elements 15 or 12. Uh, you're going to want to upgrade. You know, it's just going to make your editing so much easier, and it's going to make your photos so much more enjoyable. So... I normally, uh, I try to do every other version, uh, but since I've been teaching Photoshop Elements for years, I've also tended to upgrade every year, even if I don't have to. For the home user, for the standard person, I would say upgrade every other year, unless you hear from me, and I'll give you some more exciting news if there's more to come. But Photoshop Elements 2024 is worth the upgrade. Folks, thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. 
Uh, again, if you're not subscribed, why not? Click that subscribe button and I will talk to you next time. Until then, keep your shutters clicking, keep your editors editing. I'll see you back here next time on Photoshop Elements TV. Bye for now, everybody.